Hey there! Welcome to another episode of Mondane Designs. This is part of my technical series, and today we're going to be talking about the PlayStation 3 optical drive. Hey guys, Mondane Designs here, and um, this is a PlayStation 3 Slim. Uh, I've already taken it most of the way apart, but this video is mainly about the fact that I could not find a proper video for how to deal with the optical drive or the Blu-ray drive, or however you want to call it. Um, and I discovered this method on my own through lots of frustration and I wanted to save you guys that frustration. So we're going to go ahead and get to on how to properly get an optical drive off of the main system board and how to properly put it back on. So the first thing we're going to do is remove all three of the top screws right here and get this metal shielding off. And first of all, like you'll notice that my method is already different from most other videos that you see on YouTube. And that's because I want to avoid the frustration that they deal with. Um, a lot of people, what they love to do is they love to get in here and they take these three cables out and they remove this uh, screw right here, and uh, which I don't even have it screwed in right now. But they, what they love to do is they, they love to do things like they lift the whole drive up and they pull and they grab the cable from underneath and, uh, and just you know, pop the little retention clip up and pull it that way, which is great. It's it's great for disassembly and um, it's very fast and efficient for disassembly, especially uh, if you don't really want to mess with this too much. So I'm going to take off the metal shielding now, set that to the side, take this right here, this uh, magnet spindle top, set that to the side. Now. This guy is actually secured with four points. There's a clip here, a clip here. Mine has a clip here, uh, although you could possibly find a screw there. And then there's a screw there on mine. So I'm going to take my screw out. And with the help of a magnetic screwdriver, uh, this is a Phillips Zero. And there that is. Set that to the side. Okay, and I like to unsecure or break free the uh, front end first, so I've squeezed in that clip and let it back down, but don't re let it resecure, and then hit both of the back clips right here on either side at the same time. I'll set that aside. Now, uh, whenever handling this drive, I always like to take this gear right here and just set it to the side as well, because if you lose it everything stops working. So the next thing, let's see, I've got that off, I've got that off. Uh, I'm going to unsecure these three ribbons back here so all three of these are free. And now this drive is pretty much ready to come out except for one thing. I like, instead of reaching in underneath and pulling the cable, I like to do the flip hinge right here and pull it that way. That way when I do this, it just kind of slips out, and that's it. It's over. It's, you know, the here's the drive and all of its glory, and there's the, the problem child right there. Like, and this is a push-down clip. So, you know, sneaking your hand in there and doing all this stuff is really, really difficult. There's very low, uh, very little room to do that. But with my method that uh, I discovered... I'm not so sure. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not the first to discover this, but I'm very, uh, I'm almost certain this is the way they did it in the factory. So I just, I, you saw how easy that was. I slipped it back down. I flip this back up. Oh, I make sure it stays flipped up. I grab, come on, stay flipped up. I grab the blue part of the uh, cable and then use it to secure everything back in. And then flip it back down and it's secure again. And then I just take that, put it back there, and then just reassemble as per normal. Um, you know, this is, I'm almost certain this is the way that they did this at the factory. Because uh, who wants to deal with that frustration? Yes, this takes longer, it takes more time and stuff. But 
I'm not risking ripping the cable. I'm not risking anything else with the optical drive. I'm not stressing anything. I forgot to put a screw in. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just not, I'm not stressing anything. I'm not, I'm not breaking anything. I'm not pulling a cable. I'm not accidentally cutting a cable because I'm pulling on it too hard. I'm not ripping a cable connector off of the main board. You know, guys, I, I think this is, um, this is the way, you know, this is the way that it should be done. This is the way that it was done, probably the way it was done in the factory. And, you know, from here on out, it's basic just, you know, reassembling it and stuff. And yes, this does take more time, but you know what? I'd rather spend more time doing it this way than to try to do a shortcut that's going to cause me a whole bunch of frustration. And, uh, you know, I mean, guys, from here on out, it's just the basic reassembly. You know, you put the rest of the screws back in, you reconnect all the connectors, and that's it. It's over. Um, but, you know, guys, if... Um, let me know if you found this helpful or not. Uh, I know that as soon as I found this method, that I was no longer afraid of taking apart my PlayStation 3 and fixing it and stuff. Um, I have two of them. And, uh, you know, I want to keep them in as much working order as possible. But um, that's it, guys. I mean, just, you know, take the metal shielding off. You know, take the layers off the top. And deal with the cable on this side. Don't deal with it underneath. Well, that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month, and look forward to sharing them with you. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.